Jasmine with Farmhouse in the Suburbs. And as you can see, it's early in the morning. We just got up. I started getting the kids ready for school. I'm getting ready to go drop them off. And then I'm going to come back, get showered and dressed. And I have a lot of things I need to be doing today. I need to clean the upstairs for sure. I also have some phone calls to make. We have to go pick up groceries. Um, I want to take a trip to the new farmer's market that just opened up down the street. So I'm really excited about that. So if you're excited to see what a day in the life is like of our family, then just stay tuned. Okay, so I just wanted to show you my son's closet for a second. We kind of decided to do something a little bit different and color code his closet because the issue we were having is that when we asked him to get dressed, even though he's seven years old, sometimes the things that he was picking did not match the weather that was outside and sometimes he would not match for where we were going. So I thought of this idea in order to kind of help him. So basically we have two sides of the closet. We have a summer side and then we have a winter side side. We don't have that much stuff for winter because we live in Florida and it gets cold for about two weeks out of the year. So that's why there's not that much stuff for winter. So we have it split into two different sections and then there's colors at the top which this is just electrical tape. So we have red, yellow, and green. And then on this side we, side, we also have green, yellow, and red as well. And basically what that is, is all his clothes that are nice dressier clothes like some of these shirts in here these are clothes that he only wears if we're going somewhere nice or if i say you know we're going out to dinner wear something from your red section or your dressy section that is what the red means for us and then yellow is kind of just like everyday wear and green means it's okay to get dirty and messed up and those are his play clothes um and so that's why we have both on each side so Again, the green would be clothes that he can go outside and play in. I don't really care if it gets dirty. This is kind of like his everyday clothes, um, things that he can wear just after school or on the weekends or whatever. And he has some dressier shirts in the back. So I just wanted to show you guys that just in case you have the same issue that we had. <laughs> still looking a little messy. I clean Ben's room and our loft and my bedroom and I still have to put some clothes away, but I just got a really awesome phone call. Um, over the past couple weeks, I have been doing interviews with Capital One and they extended the offer to me. So I am now a full-time Capital One employee and I'm very excited. This will be a work from home position. This is a legit work from home position and it pays really well and the benefits are great. And honestly, it's just a really awesome company to work for. And I know a lot of people who work for Capital One and they say amazing things. So I am so excited to have the opportunity to even be able to work for them. So I'm just so excited right now. I can't wait. My official start date won't be until March 4th. So by the time you guys are actually watching this video, it might be really close to that start date. So I just wanted to let you guys know we're probably gonna go out and celebrate today. I do plan on posting a video about all of the legitimate work from home jobs that I have done over the years. Just so you guys can have a little bit more insight to that, I did do a, a post on my blog so you can check that out too, but I also plan on doing a video very, very soon about that and all of the opportunities that are available to you. So I just wanted to say that and I'm going to uh, finish putting away some laundry and go take a shower, get dressed, and then we have to go to the grocery store. So we actually do online grocery pickup through Walmart and then and we're gonna take a trip over to the new farmer's market, so I'm really excited. So what did you do? Uh, we hope mommy made coffee. Oh, coffee is one of the most important parts of the day, right, Addie? Uh, I, I wanna help with the stirring. You wanna help stir? Oh. You can both stir. <laughs> So this is one of the projects I just finished and it is a eight foot tall 
barn door and I think it came out really good. So I just wanted to show you guys, but we still need to put a handle over here. But this bathroom is really, really tiny. The door to the, this bathroom swung in and this bathroom is extremely small. So that's why we put a barn door on it. But I think it came out really nice. And these were also just plain bifold doors that were white and I added some wood to them so I think it kind of matched. Okay so we are on our way. I think we are going to stop at the farmer's market first so I'm really excited to try this place out. We have a lot of blueberry fields in our area um, right outside of our neighborhood. There's probably about four blueberry farms and every April we take our daughter there to pick blueberries for her birthday so this farmer's market is actually in one of those same blueberry fields um i was telling you guys before that we were on the keto diet but we are not going to be on keto anymore we are still going to be eating healthy we are going to be following the 21 day fix plan i've been on that plan before and i felt like it just had a little bit better balance both plans are pretty opposite of each other so the 21 day fix diet you can have carbs but you're kind of limited to what you can have basically you have to use the containers and it goes off of your weight you kind of calculate a baseline of how many containers you get per day you have to limit your salt intake and things like that whereas the keto diet you need a lot of salt and you have very, very low carb, but high fat. So things like bacon and fatty meats. Most of your carb sources come from vegetables. You really don't have a lot of carbs at all. I was eating about 16 net carbs per day. And what a net carb is, is basically you take the amount of carbs and you minus the sugar alcohols and you minus the fiber, and that is your net carb. So 16 net carbs per day is not a lot. I did lose 20 pounds in two months on the keto diet, and my husband lost about 35 pounds on that diet. But honestly, we started feeling really, really bad on it after about a month. Normally they say you get the keto flu, which is not actually a illness. It is just kind of a sluggish type feeling where you may not be feeling your best. And that normally happens in the first week. I think the first week was actually really hard just because we were changing our diet so drastically, but it wasn't too bad. We were able to stay in a keto group with some of our neighbors. So we were kind of motivating each other. And that was really, really helpful. If you have other people, I definitely suggest kind of starting your own little group to kind of keep each other in check but it wasn't really too bad I really liked it and then after the first month month and a half we started feeling really bad we weren't losing any weight we were tired all the time and I was craving bad just sugars and carbs really really bad and I felt like it just wasn't something we were really able to keep up with and I feel like the 21 day fix is a lot more of a balanced diet and you're not really cutting out food groups you're just kind of eating a little bit smarter and a little bit more healthy they do allow you to have i think it's three times a week you can have a little treat when i was doing 21 day fix i lost 30 pounds in three months and i had a little teeny container of ice cream every night and i still lost all of that weight um, and i kept it off for about a year and a half until i got pregnant that's kind of what happened there so that is why we are on, no longer on keto i just feel like it's not as balanced and we had results in the beginning but we started to feel just not our best and not good we are pulling up to the farmer's market right now and hopefully we can get some good deals are you guys excited yeah all right this place is called bob's blueberries they have awesome blueberry picking. There's also another one called Blueberry Blessings. That's where we went to the pumpkin patch and I will link that video down below as well. These are small families that have blueberry farms. So yeah, we're excited to check out their new farmer's market that they just opened up about a month or so ago. <laughs> Thank you. 
just now leaving the farmer's market and they did not have everything that I needed, but we only spent $24 and that was because I splurged on a large jar of local honey and that was $11. So I can't believe we got like an entire bag of fruits and vegetables for just over $10. So that was an amazing deal. So we will definitely be back, but we still need to get some asparagus. They had tomatoes, but I like the Roma tomatoes. So we will need to go back and get some of those. I also was kind of looking to get some Brussels sprouts and they didn't have that, but they had a lot of the staple items and they were really friendly. Now we are on our way to Walmart to pick up our groceries. If you do not use Walmart grocery pickup, you definitely should. I am going to leave my referral code down in the description box as well. I believe if you use my link, you'll get $10 off your first order. In order to get the $10 off, this will have to be your first time that you have used um, Walmart grocery pickup. If you haven't used it before, you've been thinking about it, go ahead and use the link down in my description box. You will be able to get $10 off, so that's always awesome. I know a lot of people don't wanna use it because they like picking out their own produce and meats and things like that, but I haven't had any issues and I have literally been using this service for several years now. There has been times where I went to pick up and they let me know, they said, hey, I know you ordered, you know, bell peppers or something like that, but they didn't really look very good and I didn't feel comfortable putting it into your cart. We're not gonna go ahead and give you any of the bell peppers. You didn't have any that looked good. So they don't give me any items that are gross or nasty or anything like that. I haven't had any trouble with that. One of the really good things is, let's say you order great value pasta, so you get the Walmart brand pasta, and they don't have it in stock, they give you the name brand pasta for the same price. So that's really awesome, and I can't tell you the number of times I have ordered Walmart brand of something, and I get organic for free, or not for free, but I get it at the same price as the other one, or I get a better brand for the same price. So for me, it has worked out very well. And you can choose which items you would like to substitute um, before you place your order. So if you are very dedicated to a specific brand, you can click to not substitute that item and they won't give you anything else. But anything that they do substitute, they let you know before you drive away and they say, hey, this is what was substituted. And they show me those items just so I'm sure that I'm happy with that. So honestly, I love it and I don't have to get three kids out of car seats and I don't have to worry about any meltdowns in the middle of the store because we all know how that can be. And um, I also save money because not only do I get name brand items a lot of the time for the same price like I was saying, but I also don't have the temptation of walking through the store and not needing something but saying, oh wow, this looks really good. I want to try that. And we throw things in the cart we don't need. I'll end up picking out, you know, the other day we went there for something. I can't even remember, but I ended up buying Annabelle a Wonder Woman dress and Addie a Peppa Pig dress because it was on sale. So I spent $14 that I didn't need to spend that I would have never spent. We weren't going there for groceries. We were going there for something else, but that's just an example of how you can spend money or more money when you don't really need to. So we love using Walmart grocery pickup. A lot of the people who work here now know me. They know that I'm on a schedule. I come every Friday to pick up my groceries. That's just what works for us. Um, and you can pick up groceries, I believe, between like 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Um, normally, I don't go in the afternoon. So we might get someone that I haven't seen before. Normally, I try to go and pick up our groceries right after I get my son from school. So normally we're there around 8, 8.30 in the morning. Um, that way I can meal prep and get things ready and stuff. But I had the phone call this morning with Capital One that I knew I was gonna have today at nine o'clock. So I didn't want to miss that. So I scheduled our groceries for another time. One of the good things too is that, let's say you schedule your pickup between nine and 10 and you can't make it. Um, they will hold your groceries. If you can't get there at that time, they'll hold your groceries until eight o'clock that evening and then you can pick it up then. And everything is done through the app. So you place your order on the app, you can create substitutions and what you wanna substitute and things like that. You pay first and then 
once you get there, they show you if there was anything that they didn't have or what was substituted, and then they load it up for you and you drive away and it's that simple. So um, we are almost to Walmart. It's about a 10 to 15 minute drive from our house. So we'll be there in the next five minutes or so. And you can see how it all goes down. <laughs> substitutions today so that's awesome and now we're ready to rock and roll and get back to the house oh look they started the new houses over there our house was built two years ago all the houses in our neighborhood are very new and so I guess they just started the construction on the opposite side of the lake from us I just saw a couple houses that have already started going up our neighborhood is gonna double in size Yeah, we might have some new friends. Fun fact, our house is built on land. The owner of that land had hundreds and hundreds of acres. They sold the acreage to a company to start building. Now, the house that was there on the property is actually still going to be a part of our community. That was the deal that they made with the building company. So we actually are gonna have a really cute farmhouse that's gonna be a part of our neighborhood now. And I actually haven't seen it yet because it's on the other side of the lake and before there was no roads to get to it. It was just a dirt road. Um, so I think I might take a drive by one day and see exactly what that cute little farmhouse looks like. I've seen it from Google Maps because I was interested. Um, so I could see it from the aerial view that they had, but we are pulling into the house We're gonna unload all the groceries and then I'm gonna show you everything that we got So just give us a second and we'll see you in a bit. All right, you guys So this is our grocery haul all together on everything. We spent a um, hundred and eighty hundred and eighty five dollars on everything so I'm gonna show you a little bit of what we got. Everything over here we got from the farmer's market. So we got a bunch of these mini cucumbers, some potatoes, this honey. Um, this was $11 per jar, but it's a local honey. Um, some onion, pepper, squash, cantaloupe. And so that came to um, about 20 bucks and the rest of it came to about $160. Um, we have some frozen berries from, for smoothies, and we also have this halo top. Um, the entire pint is only 320 calories for this one and 320 for that one. Now they have some that are like 260 or 280 calories, um, but we like those flavors, so that's what we got. Um, we're gonna have some steaks. So there's three ribeyes in here. This is a tenderloin, and it actually has two tenderloins in this package. We have some chicken breasts, chicken sausage, some broccoli and spinach, bananas. We have some ham for the kids' lunches, cream cheese. This is the best butter, so if you haven't tried that, it's a little pricey for um, such a small container. It's about almost $3 for equal to two sticks of butter, um, but it's grass-fed and it's really good. There's some croutons. This is all the kids stuff over here for their lunches and things like that. Um, they really love oatmeal, so I have oatmeal for them. And they've never tried this, but this is something I used to love when I was a kid. So I figured they might like to have that as a special treat. There's some yogurt, some applesauce. They're going to have ham and cheese sandwiches. 
they have some of these to take with their lunches and here are some canned vegetables um my husband and i like to have things like asparagus and squash and zucchini and some of those things go over well and others they don't so i like to get them some vegetables that i know they like so i keep these at the house so this is just some corn some sliced carrots there's peas in there um i like to just keep those like i said in case we have a vegetable that they don't like um, I'm able to give them some sort of vegetable with their meal. I try to get them to try new things, but sometimes you guys, I really just don't even want to have the fight and I would rather them have some sort of vegetable. So that's why I keep those at the house. So this is going to be our food for the week. I plan to make some smoothies. I already have some meat at the house. I have um, more sausage and I have more chicken. Um, that's why we don't have as much meat this time around um, because we have some left over in our fridge and we are going to be just keeping it basic for this 21 day fix plan. We're just going to be doing for dinners a meat with a vegetable and a starch. So we're either going to have this wild rice here, which is really good, or brown rice. Or we're gonna have some of these potatoes that are over here and some sweet potatoes. I just now realized I did not get. So I will have to go back, but I needed to go get some more things since the farmer's market didn't have everything. So I just wanted to quick show you guys what we got and I have to put all this away and go get Benjamin from school. So I will see you guys in a bit. Right now the weather is so nice out. We have a nice breeze. It is finally getting warm here in Florida. We had a couple weeks where it was kind of cold and it's back in the 70s and I feel so happy about that. Benjamin is doing his trash cans right now. He's only got one for today so it's gonna be pretty quick and we're gonna deliver that back to them. We are, I think, going to grill some chicken kebabs and have some dinner later. my husband's lunch for the week. I'm going to go back and get more fruit because um, there's only enough for three days. So in a couple days, I'll go back to the store. Um, but he had some salad with ham, cucumber, tomatoes, some croutons and cheese portioned out, some cantaloupe. I am making his breakfast right now, which is um, like an omelet. So that is going to be part of his breakfast. And he's also going to have half a bagel. So I kind of just wanted to show you some of the food prep we had going on today. So one thing I will mention is that when we were on keto, we were doing intermittent fasting, which is basically eating during a set window of time. So we actually did not have our first meal until noon, and we ate between noon and 8 p.m. That kind of helps you lose a little bit more weight, and I don't think we are going to be doing that with the 21 day fix, at least not right now. Instead of doing that and having two meals um, that were bigger, like we did on keto, this time we're gonna eat three medium-sized meals, one in the morning for lunch and then also for dinner. So that's gonna be a little bit different for us. And also, as I'm prepping all this food, I'm realizing just how much food 21 Day Fix has. We didn't have as much food on keto and most of the food had more calories and filled you up a little bit quicker since it was mostly fats. You didn't have as much, but it did still fill you up. Whereas 21 Day Fix has a lot more food that is lower in calories. So as I'm looking at some of the things that 
that I'm prepping, I'm kind of thinking like, how in the world am I gonna eat all this food? So that is definitely gonna be something that's really different that we'll probably have to get used to in the first week or so. And I remember kind of going through that when I first started 21 Day Fix probably three years ago. So I just wanted to make a note of that to let you guys know. I will leave some links down for 21 Day Fix and the storage containers that I'm using, which I will show you in just a second. So this is an example of the food storage containers that we use. This one is dirty, so just don't mind that. But purple is for fruit. So in a day, I think I get three fruits and my husband gets four. So we can fill this up three times with fruit and it's about, I think it's equal to one cup. I will leave the measurements so that way if you don't have the storage containers, you know exactly how much each container is if you wanna do it that way. And I will also give you guys the link so you can go over to Amazon and purchase these containers. I think they were $7.99 somewhere around that line. I know they were definitely under $10, so go check that out. And yeah, I'm getting ready to put the kids in bed. It has been a long day. I have realized that I need to go back to the store tomorrow. Um, so I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna be working on my blog tomorrow. So I am ready to have a good night's sleep. And I think that is gonna be the end of our day today. Um, other than that, so thank you guys so much for sticking around watching this entire video. I hope that it was helpful. I am going to be sharing more results of our 21 day fix. Probably in about two weeks, I'll do another video to kind of show my results. Um, I did weigh myself this morning. I am 189 pounds, so I have a long way to go. My goal is to get to around 135, 140. I started at 205 when I was on keto. Right now I weighed myself. Um, I've gained a little bit of weight since I ended keto. Yesterday I had a big thing of pasta, so that would be one of the reasons. It is what it is. I'm trying, I'm trying to get there. It's a lot easier when you have someone to do it with. Yeah, I'm 189, I will check in and in about a week to two weeks. Um, also go ahead and add me over on Instagram. I have a brand new Instagram. Um, you can add me at farmhouse in the suburbs one and I will post some before and after pictures on there. So if you want to see kind of my progress, definitely head over there because I'm gonna be posting more recipes and stuff on my Instagram more than I probably will on YouTube. So definitely go check me out on there. Thank you guys for watching again and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.